can you guys smell this? Love is in the air and it smells a lot like donuts. Let's spice things up for Valentine's. Much better. Today I'm super excited to be sharing and reviewing Valentine's Day Best Foods. My first one is from Chick-fil-A. Let's unbox this. This is their heart tray. They usually offer cookies, brownies, or chicken nuggets. This is a breakfast only item. It is their 10 count chicken biscuits in their heart trays. I've actually never had their chicken biscuits. If you were thinking of getting any of the heart trays this year, I would definitely recommend calling ahead at your local location to see if they have it because not all Chick-fil-A's have it. All the other trays, as far as I know, are available all times except for the chicken biscuits. Let's try it. One of them seems like it's had a little bit of a wild ride on its way here. Um, that's pretty good. Usually when I've had fast food biscuits, they tend to be kind of dry and not really great, but these are actually nice. They're the perfect size, perfect bite size, if you will. You take a bite, you get an equal distribution of chicken to biscuit, some of the sauces here. So I chose two at random. There wasn't any stink sauce that already was recommended, but now I have the Smucker's Strawberry Jam and the Honey Roasted Barbecue Sauce from Chick-fil-A. Here goes nothing. First bite with the Honey Barbecue Sauce from Chick-fil-A. Mmm. Wow. Okay. So it does add an extra punch in the flavor. I think the biscuit, chicken biscuits are already yummy enough alone, but when you add in the sauce, it kicks it up a notch. That's interesting. I actually prefer the honey barbecue sauce way more. Definitely get it with the honey barbecue sauce on the side. Although one thing I will note is that when I got them, they were actually hot. So these are really good to eat right away. And I would definitely recommend if you get them and you don't eat them right then, throw them in air fryer, toaster oven, oven for maybe a few minutes just to get it a little bit toastier. I would give this a, I wanna say a strong eight out of 10. It's yummy. I would consider getting it again. I like that the portion isn't too crazy big. Great size to share for between you and a friend, two people. All right, what shall we try next? Hmm, how about some donuts? All right, so what do we have here? First, we have the red velvet macchiato. I am not a super coffee drinker, but look, the drink just looks so pretty. It's the brown coffee color on top with the trademark Valentine's Day pink color on the bottom. And our donuts, let's check those out. Okay, first we have the brownie batter chocolate donut. And the second... <laughs> and this is supposed to be the Cupid donut. <laughs> no, 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 no. However, I do believe there's been a little bit of an accident for Cupid on its way here. Let's take mine. I mean, they got the heart shape, right? Like it's actually a distinct heart shape. I don't think this one has any filling. Or maybe I'm not biting into it enough. Let me try again. Mm-mm. Second bite, still no filling. Nothing. Let me cheat a little and tear it. Okay, there is filling. You just don't get that much of it. Okay. Mmm, smells industrial. Mmm, no. I'm already not the biggest fan of chocolate, but this icing tastes a little bit like, it even looks a little grainy. I'm not a huge fan. I mean, the shape was nice, but I'll give them that. The Cupid one. I'm assuming this one has icing as well. Mmm, I like the 
this one. This is actually pretty nice. And again, very little filling to donut ratio here, but it tastes almost like a light sugary icing in the middle, which I actually don't mind. It is super sweet, don't get me wrong, but it's not like sickly sweet, but let's try the drink. This is their pink velvet macchiato. I love that the straw actually matches with the brand. That's interesting. Wow, okay. So you do have the initial coffee, generic coffee taste, but by your second sip or almost like a sip aftertaste if you wanna call it, you have a lighter, sweeter note coming out. I wanna say it tastes like red velvet or what I would imagine red velvet to be, but it's a little bittersweet, which I think is actually pretty pleasant, pretty nice. And this is coming from someone who doesn't even like coffee. I like it, it's pretty mellow. If you're not a fan of coffee, or not even a fan of dark coffee, I think this is a nice light little treat. Now let's mix it up and see if the taste changes after a little bit of a mix up. I don't recommend mixing it up. Yep, still don't like coffee, but for the coffee drinker who is wanting to try something new, this is not a bad choice. All right, <laughs> Duncan, what do we do with you? You got your character that looks pretty good, but has terrible taste here. Flavor profile is just meh. Would not recommend, please don't get this donut, guys. Then I have this one who looks a little bit like it's been through something, but actually tastes pretty good. And then you have the third, the unexpected surprise character. All right, I think this is gonna be fast. Out of 10, I will give this a two because it had a good shape, had the heart shape for Valentine's, cute, and it was just okay, nothing to celebrate. This one, the filling was actually nice. Dough's okay. I would give this one a four out of 10. And the drink, a little surprising, I actually thought it was interesting. We'll give it, you know what, it's a little creative. I've never heard of a red velvet macchiato before. It's nice, it's pretty pleasant. I will give it a solid, let's do six out of 10. Bean, can you? Yes, I know, it's delicious, but it's for me, not for you. Bean, do you mind? Can you please? We, we do this every time. Gosh, she's not letting go of the Krispy Kreme box. We might have a problem. For their Valentine's donuts, Krispy Kreme had four flavors. They had a chocolate fill-in one, a strawberries and cream one, and a cake batter one as well as a sugar cookie one. I could not get the fourth chocolate flavored one only because at Krispy Kreme's in order to allow other customers a chance to try out their Valentine's Day donuts, they are limiting each person to get at maximum three Valentine's Day donuts. I'm not sure if there's a policy for all the Krispy Kreme locations, but it was for the one I went to. This one's so cute. I think this is one my favorite designed one. Has the little heart button sugar thing on top. Okay, it's just sugar. It is more of a pillowy, soft dough type of taste. And I'd say in the first bite, I was able to get icing, but again, I was biting where the icing hole is. So let's try the opposite end and see what happens. Mm-mm. Based on what I've seen so far, it looks like if you're trying to get icing in these, you gotta just bite in the middle. Otherwise, you're not really gonna get much. I like it. I'm pretty sure this is the strawberries and cream one. All right, this one. The heartbreak one, I'm gonna call it. Poor thing looks like it's been through stuff. Um, love the vibrant red. I think it's a pretty bold statement for a donut. All right, let's have a taste. Is this what the icing looks like? Semi-creamy icing. I can't really tell what the filling is flavored with or what flavor it is other than icing. Strange, like with the strawberries and cream, I could tell. Um, let's try this one. Plenty of icing, you can see the thick layer of icing on top. Honestly, I can't tell the difference between these two donuts. One of them is the cake batter filled one and one of them is the sugar cookie. Love the dough, but I'm just not a fan of how overly sugary tasting it is. There's no real flavor. These two, I'm gonna rank at the same. I think they're about a six out of 10. They're better than your average donut because of the dough. It's pillowy, it's soft. It's fun to eat, it's yummy. However, the filling is just not doing it for me. I feel like if you're gonna fill a donut, you should know what you're tasting. And this, I would say a seven out of 10 because the filling actually tasted like strawberries and cream. Like I could tell with the first bite. 
You didn't think I would let you go without tasting some chocolates, would you? I mean, really? For a Valentine's Day themed video? Come on up, guys. I have this little bowl of chocolates for us to taste. In Valentine's, you usually have the stereotypical dark chocolates, um, milk chocolates, things like that. Things that you can pretty much get all year round. But some brands do come out with their limited edition flavors. This is the Lindor, Lint, Lind? Simply say Lint. Is their limited edition uh, strawberries and cream flavored white chocolates. And then I have the Ghirardelli chocolates. So these are the white chocolate creme brulee flavored duet tarts. Okay. So they come in these really cute individually wrapped little, I guess, truffles, you wanna call this? Cute. Love the shiny pink pen. Yeah, so that just rolled away. It's just a white cream shell inside. There's like a strawberry cream. It is super sweet though. Next we have the Cradelli and the ones. I'm super excited for this. Oh, these are so small and cute. One piece of chocolate that's connected between two hearts. So love the cute design. It smells interesting. It's not bad, it's just different. Wow. I'm glad I took a small bite to try first. This is really rich. And there's even crunchy textures throughout. It does taste like creme brulee. It tastes like they have caramel bits throughout the bite. If you like creme brulee, this is right up your alley. It's interesting, it's different from your average chocolate. Overall, it's a nice once in a while treat. I give these a seven out of 10. And the Lindor ones, I give them a six out of 10. Thanks so much guys for joining me for today's Valentine themed fast food review. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.